about seven years ago I bought um, a very expensive Bison 125mm uh, three-jaw chuck which has proved to be one of the best uh, investments in the workshop that I've paid for. It has on the sides you can see adjustment screws so it's a set true or grip true or whatever you want to call it um, to be able to adjust the body of the chuck against there by, by turning the screws on the side and you get extremely low run out when that's adjusted properly. Now I've just bought another chuck for my uh, Rivet 608 and that's here. Um, I made up a back plate for it and the rivet uh, unfortunately has a very large diameter so it had to be a huge chunk of um, cast iron that I had to machine away to be able to make up the back plate but never mind that's done now. I mounted everything and um, I was absolutely delighted when I got it mounted to see um, when I switched the lathe on there was hardly any run out I couldn't really believe it so I set this up with a dial indicator and you will see that, that the um, run out on this is so low it's uh, better than the collet chuck I've got but of course it won't grip the work as well as a collet chuck but nevertheless the results are absolutely brilliant right I've mounted um, the uh, dial indicator, the very sensitive one which is 0.001 millimeters for each graduation and um, so the usual dial indicator would be 10 of these which is 0.01 between each of those. It's a little difficult to set up because slightest movement and it, it moves, it jumps around but anyway and let's see how accurate this is. Really difficult to see the, the needle making any movement at all. Really is quite extraordinary. And you can see um, that the dial indicator is set up so that it is registering. Absolutely no movement at all. So that's better than 0 0.001 of a millimetre. Yep. So the question is how far, far out would it be accurate to? So I've tried that as well. We'll set this up now six inches away from the chuck. Okay, I've set this up now so it's six inches away from the chuck. So we just check to see what sort of movement we've got. check to see what sort of movement we've got. It settles down to under point two, point oh two. Yes, yeah, just under point oh two of a, of, a, of a millimeter at six inches, which is better than a lot of chucks can do right up to the jaws of the chuck. In fact, not even as good as that. So it is an absolutely brilliant chuck. And bear in mind, this came yesterday. This is the, the box that came with it. And oh, it came in. And um, all I did was machine the back plate, which I'd, I'd got part machined already. I did that yesterday. Screwed it on. I did no setting up. I'd, I didn't adjust anything at all. I just put a test bar in. And there it is. Absolutely great result. So I'm delighted with the chuck and I can heartily recommend them.